Why do you always have glasses? Imagine, 20 years from now, you graduated college and get a job as a teacher. Your new job is at Hamilton Southeastern High School. You start to look for a house in Fishers, Indiana, close to where your new job is. You then become ex exceedingly frustrated because you are unable to find a job, find a house in Fishers, Indiana under your budget of $200,000. This is because in, fi in Hamilton County, the average home costs $263,000. And the national average is only $220,000. Steve Lane, who is the president of the Builders Association of Greater Indianapolis said, I asked officials at City Hall where their workers were going to live. We're pricing out teachers, firefighters, and police officers in Hamilton County. And there's no clear solution to this big problem. Do you really want to live in Hamilton County? Today, me, Blake Rimshaw, Eric, Dave, and Stephanie will be explaining how the effects of the rising of pro rising property costs in Hamilton County. We'll start by saying the effects these co rising costs have on consumers, the benefits and drawbacks of these changes, and how the common citizen can be helped find more affordable housing. Stephanie will now start with the effects these costs have on consumers. So, property costs are increasing are, and are affecting the common citizen. An average house in Hamilton County costs about $263,000 versus the average income of $55,000. People can't afford a down payment. It's got in their budget of under $220,000 to $175,000. So the main question we have to ask is why are these prices increasing? It's because of the regulations that have been put up over the years. Since 2006, no same grade vinyl has been permitted but are rarely accepted through the system in housing. People want to keep a nice aesthetic for people to move into Hamilton County, which also costs a lot, like the roundabouts that, now, that are now being put in. They are replacing roofs which are now being heavily regulated. And according to an article by Chris Thickett on Indy Star about how Hamilton County is pricing out middle income class, classes, they are now using bricks, masonry, foxwood, which is now required in most new houses in Hamilton County, which costs about $8,000 to $12,000. Garage doors that cost $200 to $4,000. The average salary, as said earlier, is $55,000 compared to $263,000, which is the average cost of a house in Hamilton County. It would take you five years to pay that house, not counting your essential needs, such as clothes, food, and etc. You will need to earn $82,285 a year, which means you'd have to earn $6,000 a month, which for police officers, teachers, and firefighters, it's not available to them. So another question that pops up in mind is, what do consumers want in a house? At least that's what most people think. The aesthetic the county is trying to keep is rising rising in price. But you're looking at the cost of the county and how that can increase as well, using it as their benefit to say that, hey, these houses are going to cost a lot more than you think. And they are also asking in their minds, how can we increase the cost for the for the housing to look nice, our county to look nice, or for the overall price of our county to increase. What they're thinking is more space is equal to more cost, which is equal to more consumers wanting to buy a house. According to the article I mentioned earlier, most people don't need or want more space, which is their backyard. Most people want more bedrooms, more bathrooms, but with the housing available, most houses only include four bedrooms and three bathrooms. So moving on, what really are the benefits and the drawbacks for these housing increase prices? I'm Eric and I'm uh, going to be talking to you guys.
concerns about the benefits and drawbacks of housing and using it. Uh, the first drawback that we have is population decrease. The population load is decreased because people can't afford homes in Anderson County. Therefore, they're basically forced to move out of the county and buy the HP homes. The people that are moving and leaving from Anderson County are the common citizens, like teachers, firefighters, and police officers because they make anywhere from $45,000 to $35,000 a year. And that could either be barely enough or not enough for the life that they're living. Um, and a um, benefit for houses increasing in price is higher economy. The economy will be obviously raised because houses are more expensive, therefore people make more money and live um, in bigger houses, Also, another benefit is that if we have citizens that basically buy homes and then fix them up, repair them, and then sell them, and that would be a good business to be in, and that would offer a new job for citizens. So, people that can't afford to buy a home, they're going to have to rent a house. And normally, to rent a house in Hamilton County would be $1,500 a month. And that would be a house with basically four bedrooms or four or five bedrooms, and then they would have any, anywhere from two to three bathrooms. And people that are renting homes, they have to move in more often, and it's kind of hard for people to find houses to rent. Uh, but another benefit is that the reason why houses are increasing in price is because uh, the place of Hamilton County has a lot of uh, pull factors like um, there's a lot of good schools in Hamilton County, like Hamilton Southeast High School, and there's also a lot of um, cool factors like stores. There's a lot of stores, and everything's really close to each other. So you could go down the street to a Kroger or a mall, you know. And there's also a lot of good jobs. There's a lot of new hospitals opening, and there's a lot of new places like schools opening. And that's a better opportunity for people to start in a new place and already have like, easy access to a job. And basically, the government of Hamilton County doesn't really want to approve a house that is under $250,000 because they don't make enough money out of um, the space that they're making. So if they give up like a space to build a house, they want to make enough money out of that little lot to be able to afford and now David is going to talk to you about the, how to have a common citizen. So as my colleagues have said, um, the increase in property costs is uh, making it very difficult to find affordable homes here in Hamilton County. Uh, as Blake said, the average home is over $250,000. And a lot of public professions, such as police officers, firefighters, and teachers, do not make enough money to afford these houses in those days a lot of years for them to afford these houses. Uh, the rise in property costs will result in a decrease um, in these professions. And as, uh, as Eric mentioned, there's a lot of hospitals and new um, schools opening, which will make it very difficult for them to live in Hamilton County. They will have to live outside of the county and commute to their jobs, which will um, force them to spend more money on stuff like gas. So I'll be talking about uh, ways to help the common citizen um, and like factors that can help them afford a home. So the first solution uh, is to uh, increase salaries and the minimum wage in Indiana. Uh, the median household income uh, is about $89,000 and it's probably lower for those public professions. Um, and the minimum wage is $7.25, which is uh, tied with 13 states for 30th in the United States. Um, Hamilton County will need to uh, raise both of these so that more professions can afford to live here in apartments or homes or townhomes. Our second solution is to decrease taxes. Uh, the sales tax in Indiana is 7% and the property tax is 0.7%. Uh, decreasing in sales tax will make it easier to afford uh, basic necessities and being able to save more of that money and uh, put that into savings and going towards a house. 
the decrease in property tax will take some money off the property tax and the mortgage and just make it easier to afford a home. Our last solution is to increase mortgage programs um, and saving options. Uh, this will lead, uh, this will allow citizens to be smarter with their money and find more affordable homes along with um, more uh, reasonable savings accounts. Um, they'll have a better understanding of how to afford a home and they won't try to overshoot their house or and they'll know um, basic inspections of what they need. Um, and now Blake will come back. To explain the effects that rising property costs have on citizens, how the benefits and overall drawbacks of these rises, and how the common citizen can be helped to find more affordable housing. So Dan Axe, he's a teacher at our school, he's lived in Fishers for 35 years, and he's been very involved in this community, including being on the town council. And he said, when I served on the town council in the 80s, fellow member Roy Holland used to share an ongoing concern that the people that worked in Fishers be able to afford to live in Fishers. So for almost 40 years now, this has been a concern by the governments in Hamilton County. So let's go back to the teacher hypothetical I started out, us out with. So you are, because you cannot find a house in Hamilton County under your budget, you are forced to live in downtown Indianapolis and have at least a 30 minute commute to work on a good day. On a bad day, that's up, upwards to an hour. And nobody wants that. And think of all the gas you'd have to spend, money you'd have to spend on gas. So, and this is all just because the national Hamilton County, County houses cost an average of forty-three thousand dollars more than the national average. And Mr. Axe believes there is no solution to this problem. Will you be able to afford to live in Hamilton County?